day, YouTube. Today we're just doing a bit of a quick fun comparison between the long-term service releases of Ubuntu that come out every two years. Now I've got them uh, from left to right here. So I've got Ubuntu 18.04 on the left, then Ubuntu 20.04 in the middle, and the latest release, or at least coming out in a few days, Ubuntu 22.04. 04 on the right. So just to give you a bit of a background knowledge in terms of the versioning, so 18 or the first number stands for the year, so 2018 the first one came out, 2020 the second and 2022 this year the third current release coming out and 04 just happens to stand for the day, uh, the month, so April, April, April. So every two years these guys come out, they're all still supported. They do actually get supported for uh, up to five years with uh, software updates and then a further five years for security updates typically, although sometimes that's subject to change. But uh, I wanna have a bit of a visual comparison, a bit, of a, a bit of a fun look at these things because they are actually quite similar over the last uh, four to six years, depending on how you wanna count that there. So they've all got the same applications menu, basically Basically, they are all running on GNOME, but GNOME has certainly been upgraded and uh, a bit more tweaked and refined on the newer later version. The coloring scheme, I I'm, I'm just love the direction that the coloring scheme is going. So the, the latest one, a really nice called dark mode, uh, better purples, I guess. Ubuntu has always been purple, but this older version here, this, uh, this 18.04, it's got this old sort of worn look on it. Like... That, that was just, it just felt so outdated the very first day that it came out, I think. It's just, just very not cool. If we were to look at the file man, uh, managers of the, the more recent versions, yeah, they're just going to a, a more darker look and certainly a very dark mode on the most latest one there, which is really nice to see. An update to the icons as well. We've got some really dated icons as well. So a dated color scheme and icons for 18.04 to say the least. If we were to maybe uh, have a look at the software, in fact, if you look at the, the GNOME taskbar options here on the left-hand side, you can see they're all running with the exact same application. So basically, you've got Ubuntu software, you've got their LibreOffice, they're even still having Rhythmbox there on, uh, on as a default app, which is kind of funny this day, these days in a streaming world, although Rhythmbox does allow for some streaming there as well, not just old MP3s for playing there too. But in terms of software, you are looking at pretty much the same stuff there, so it doesn't really change. We've got uh, our internet apps, our office apps, and the like. And if it's missing, you would just download it anyway. Uh, I want to maybe look at a little bit of the back end here and see what's going on. So let's have a look at uh, the kernels all these guys choose to use. Now, I apologize. I don't have a lot of screen real estate, so I am just squeezing everything in. Uh, even before I get into that, yeah, the coloring scheme is just horrible. Horrendous on 18.04. It just, just doesn't match itself at all. It's like it goes to gray black to white to, to purple it's just it doesn't keep in line with itself but it is many years old now so you know whatever uh, now first of all the kernel 5.4 kernel for 18.04 5.13 kernel for for 20.04 and the 5.15 kernel for the latest release which will actually get new kernel releases as the years go by for sure just because it's going to be a little bit newer and it still is in beta mode so they don't ever lock them down and they will get a new kernel there. But uh, we are dealing with older, more stable kernels. Let's just say if you want to run a server on these things, and that's half the reason why, well, some of the reason why people will actually use Ubuntu, the long-term service releases, either a server or a machine that they just don't want to have to update every six months with a new point release, as opposed to all these long-term releases that only come out once every two years. And like I say, still usable for a good five to 10 years. Uh, let's have a look, maybe last but not least, at uh, the, now, take this with a grain of salt, but uh, on boot up, the 18.4 is using about eight, 590 megabytes of RAM on boot up, 20.4 uh, is running on about 570 megabytes of RAM on boot up, and the uh, 20.22.04, 20 the latest release, running at about 580 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So that's really good, considering we are running with the latest and greatest GNOME environments. Well, one of the latest and greatest, at least there. So it's uh, I'm, I'm quite proud of the, uh, the, I guess, the minimal RAM usage there. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'll just keep it there for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.